Okay guys, hope you're all well. Um, this is my friend uh, Mats from uh, Denmark. Um, I felt really bad. He came all the way to South Africa for for business and um, I wasn't able to give him a lesson, but I promised I'll do a quick analysis on his kick serve. So um, there's, there's two, three major factors here that I think would really help him on his kick serve immediately. And uh, the first thing is, what I want you guys to check is many players think um, being sideways on the kick serve will give you more kick, uh, which is good. But if you overdo it, then you run you run the risk of not being able to get enough acceleration out of the hip. So if you look at his if you look at his uh, back foot there, I do feel like this is a bit too much. Um, what I would have him do is have this foot over here. I would put it a little bit forward and slightly closer. So around about there. So if his back foot could be there all the way in relation to his to his um, front foot there. So it would look something like this. This is his front foot. I would have his back foot over there. What this will allow him to do is because now if your hips are already two sideways you can't turn that way more which means you're losing out on accelerating forward and you do need a little bit of forward momentum and acceleration from the hips yeah so he's like he's going to lose out on elastic energy because he's already turned so there's no need for him to turn back and then forward again so he's losing out he's losing out on the acceleration from the back hip through which will give him more kick as well that's number one and two together it's the back foot and the hip let's move on all right another another major major thing before i show you guys from the back what Mats is doing. I just want you to check his wrist over there. Um, as you can see, it's open the strings facing up, which means he's, he's lacking acceleration with the wrist, and I'll show you why now. Uh, I would have his palm a little bit more close there, which means the strings at the back, the strings at the back would be a bit more close. What this does is, if you look at his follow through, just look at it again, his wrist, his wrist over there is not breaking enough. And you need, really need so much wrist motion from left to right if you want proper kick. So his wrist is just a bit too stiff on the, um, on the kick serve, if he had to loosen up his wrist, he would get so much more kick. Uh, obviously, if I had to do this live lesson, I would be able to show him how to do it. But one of the things you could do is make your grip sharper. There you can see again, there his wrist should be a lot more relaxed and broken. It's still stiff. And that's why you'll struggle to get the kick that you deserve on your kick serve. It will go more flat in the slice. So that's step number two. Number one was the feet and the hips. And number two, got to loosen up that wrist will help you so, so much. Okay, let's move on. I want to show you from the back something very, very important. This is a this is a great example. Yeah, if you look at his hips, if you look at his hips, they're already sideways. Which means if his back foot was more in this area, um, then he would need to rotate his hips that way, and then he would be able to rotate his hips forward to the ball. But now his hips are already rotated, so there's no need for him. To have some elastic energy forward and through 
uh, because he's almost like blocked because of his food position and he's already turned too much so he's losing out on the elastic energy from left to right with his hip because he's already turned too much you need to be in a position where you are already slightly you need to be in a position where when you get started when you get started your hips shouldn't be open already like that they should be closed and then when the task goes in the air then you can rotate the hips to the left and then to the right hope that makes sense yeah his, your his feet positioning is the major thing here and i just want you to take a look at this his wrist again over there see strings opening strings over here should be closed because as, when the strings are closed then it's very easy to accelerate up for the kick serve and then last thing that would help the first two tips are the most important but last thing that would help him so much is if you see his back foot over here If he is, if his if his back foot can kick up a little bit behind his front foot, this will allow him to kick the ball more sideways. Because what he's doing here is he's opening up too soon, too much, and that's gonna put too much slice on the ball. All right, Matt. I hope that helps you. I hope. Uh, all of you who watch this video would find benefit from his analysis and uh, looking forward to seeing you soon much and I can give you a lesson on court. Let me know if these tips help you. Thank you for subscribing guys. Grab my ebook. I'll help you a lot. Link in description. And thank you for your support. See you soon.